Hello everybody, Erica from One Berkshire and we are at the infamous Jimney Peak for another beautiful snowy day in the Berkshires. Check out those slopes behind us. This is such a staple in our Berkshire economy. I'm here with Katie. She's the marketing director here at Jimney Peak and she's gonna tell us all about the great things that are happening here. So, hey Katie. Hi, how are you? Good. Welcome, I'm glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> so behind us, we're looking at some freshly made snow. You guys make snow and have been making it all month. Yes. we. Um, start in November and we've had a great start to the season for sure with cold weather and then natural snow as well. Yes. Um, so yeah, we've just been making snow consistently, going to expand open terrain as we get into the holiday week again. Awesome. So holiday week is coming up and you guys are one of the places that has night skiing. So tell us a little bit about hours yes. and when people can come here. So we're open every day until 10 p.m. Um, during the holiday week we'll be open 8.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. and then non-holiday 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Wow. And you can see behind us lights are already coming on. So those are the lights that light up the whole slope so you can ski until 10 o'clock at night which is fun. Now we like to talk about new stuff because yep. everybody loves to hear new stuff. So I'm going to turn us around a little bit because over here is the area where in the summer Jimny has their aerial adventure park. Right. Yep. And this year you guys have added something new. So tell us about what's yeah. going to be happening over there. So for the winter we're going to use that space for a fun zone so that in the afternoons after skiing, you know, we'll still have night skiing of course, but if you're done and you want to go or even if you want to take a break from skiing, go make a s'more, have hot chocolate, hang out so by the open fire, fire pit. pit. Okay. There'll be games like giant Jenga, there's a giant Connect 4 and different just cool stuff like that that you can do. Um, after skiing, maybe before dinner and just hang out. Yeah, a little break up from the, the yeah, slopes, but absolutely. giant Jenga. You got my attention with giant Jenga. I can't even imagine. I was like pulling massive blocks out and yes, trying to yeah. not have the tower fall. It's amazing. It'll be fun to watch for sure. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. And the other thing that I'm really um, excited about that you guys have coming up is for New Year's. Yeah. So we're going to walk over here to another angle. So um, we want to show you about the slopes and we want to tell you about this New Year's event because if you haven't been here, 15 years you guys have been yeah. doing this. So tell us how New Year's Eve unfolds here. So it's really become a tradition for us. Um, at the end of the night, so as the lifts close at 10, we have a torchlight parade that starts shortly after the close of the lifts. And then at the conclusion of that, we have our annual fireworks display. And it's pretty cool. People gather in the base area, you know, families come, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So that all happens here. Like, let's paint a picture of this really quick. Okay, so up there on the slope, somebody's going to be coming down the slope with a big yep. torch of fire. Yes. Yeah. So skiing down the slope with a torch <laughs> of fire, getting close to midnight. Yep. And then there's going to be fireworks that go off as the lifts are closing. So you'll see them right up there over the top of the mountain. Yep. And then you come into the tavern. Yep. And there's a countdown and the ball drop yep. and the whole New Absolutely. Year's Eve festivity. Exactly. So yeah. that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. So if you don't have New Year's Eve plans yet, this would be one to put on your list. It doesn't get any better than that, Absolutely. I don't think. We'll have live music in the tavern. It'll be fun. Yes. And so while we're talking about the tavern, I want to point out like Jimny is one of those places where it's really like a village here. There's yes. so many things to do here. So tell us all a little bit about the lodging that's here, the food that's here. Sure. Yeah, we have, so we have lodging, so you can stay here right at the base of the mountain, slope side. We here, have, I'll pan us around. So there's all these condos that are privately owned, but there are, many of them are available for rent. So you can see a lot of those here. There's also some you mentioned up there on the mountain. I don't know if you can see those back there, but there's some very, I'm sure those have amazing views of the yes, mountains. Yeah, definitely. And then we also have our All Sweet Country Inn, which is kind of on the other side from where we are right now. Um, but yeah, you can stay here. Then we have John Harvard's Restaurant and Brewery. We have Christian's Tavern. And then, of course, we have um, places like the Lodges, if you're skiing. We have the Country Store. Um, we have Peak Sweets, which is a coffee shop. So lots of places oh, coffee to shop inside too. have cool. a snack, um, a meal, whatever you're looking for. And you mentioned the hotel rooms that are here are suite style hotel yes. rooms. So kitchen inclu kitchenette included. Kitchenette, and yep. Yeah, yep. very Absolutely. cool. All right, let's turn to see this amazing fire pit. So this is another way you can warm up while you're here. Yeah. A roaring fire behind us. Yes, it's a great way. And so let's just end then because we know we have a lot of our of business, um, business people watching these videos. Uh, the other thing Jimny is known for when it's not in peak ski season is conferences, meeting rooms. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about what's available here for business people who might want to be having events. Sure. We have all of our lodge spaces or designed for this. So we could have meetings, events. We have weddings here. Pretty much, you know, any event that you want, you know, our conference planners can help you plan that here. Um, so we have spaces for small groups and larger groups, um, and some, you know, it's a great place. A lot of people think of us for skiing, but we're here all year round, and nice. we have great spaces for that kind of thing. Nice. And I'm thinking from here, <laughs> because of the view we got here, I can see the turbine a little bit up on the mountain. I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but if you can't, you can see it on Katie's jacket. I do want to point out the amazing efforts that Jimny makes around renewable energy and sustainability. And we were talking about this before the video, that not only
only do you care about this as your industry because your ski industry is based on a good planet, a good climate, right. um, but it's also good business for you. So talk yeah. to us a little bit more about your sustainability and renewable energy industry. Sure. Well, we run on 100% renewable energy, and this has been something that goes back years and years, efforts that have been in place. The turbine is probably the most recognizable, um, but we have solar, and then there's things like our lights are energy efficient, um, even to small things like changing out light bulbs in our lodges. But you know, we make snow, we run lifts, we have lights, oh. we're open 24-7. I mean, there's so much so. power used here. It's incredible to me that you're able to do the whole thing on renewable. That's yes. fantastic. Yeah, and it's really important for us to pay attention to that and save wherever we can. Yeah. And then, of course, the environment as well is super important. Well, us, it's a great so. model, too, for showing how businesses can do that here in the Berkshire. Yes, absolutely. All right, everybody. So everybody here knows how important ski is for our local economy in the Berkshire. So this is just another message. We have beautiful places like this right in our backyard. Get out, enjoy the winter in the Berkshires, enjoy the season, and come to Jiminy Peak. Absolutely. And say hi to Kate when you come. <laughs> Thank you. All right, everybody. Take care. See you later.